Resident Evil 4. What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here, and I present to you my October special run-through of Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we went through the splitting paths of the end of the village section. You went on the right side, or you went on the left side. The right side had a Elegante, the left side had a bunch of villagers waiting and ready to kill Leon and take Ashley, and possibly kill her too. Apparently, these villagers have no qualms about attempting to kill her, so you really gotta be careful. If they do it, they're just like, oh shit, that sucks, it better not tell the boss. And then that's kind of how that works. So, Right here, we have a little note sitting on this locker. Village's last defense. I clearly underestimated the American agent's capability. He's still alive. I thought that we could wait until the egg hatched, but at this rate, he could destroy the whole village before it does. We must take care of this nuisance. We shall change our priorities. For the time being, we will cease our hunt for Luis and ambush the two Americans. There is a building used to enlighten betrayers just beyond the point where you get off the, tr uh, the lift. Or to enlighten betrayers? That's, that's never a good sign when you're talking about these crazy cult-like places. It's a perfect place for ambushing them. If all else fails, they still would need to face me in order to get past the last gate that leads out of the village. For only before my sight will the gate open. Okay, Mendez, buddy, pal, friend, hysterical Bigfoot type guy. Why are you writing these little note things and just leaving them in arbitrary places? Like, if you, if you want to keep a diary, which is cute, that's okay, no problem, do it and keep it on your body. Put it, like, in your trench coat or something. Don't rip off a piece and be like, I like that episode, Psh. I like this chapter, Psh. I like this page, Psh. and then just throw them all around the village so this way, you know, the American agent can find them and be like, oh, so they're planning a trap for me, eh? I wonder if I should prepare myself for that or not. Hmm. Careful with this one, because if you're too close to Mr. Merchant and you swing your knife, of course he will Welcome. die, and you don't want that. Do you have anything new? Got a selection of no. Nope. What are you nope. buying? Still the same crap. What are you still buying? Still the same crap. What are you and, selling? And uh, still the same. I mean, I have stuff that I want to sell, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll worry about time. it later. Um, actually, the next time I see the merchant with it is in the same episode. I will do some selling because we are almost done with that beer stein. We have one more thing in order to plug into it before it's worth the most amount of bait. But we have this door right here. It won't open. I guess this is the only way out of this village. This light looks like it's some sort of retinal scanner. What the hell are they putting in these things? A retinal scanner? That's a lot more than just using water to turn a wheel. Like, holy crap. They advance in technology so fast these days. Uh, anywho, we're coming up here to the lift. As you can see, this thing is moving right now. There's a reason why it's moving. It just hasn't been moving indefinitely for ages. But that's another thing that you're not going to know until you actually beat the game. Grab it here. Good, because now I have space in my inventory in order to pick up random crap that's lying around. So, let us go here. And we're going to experience one of the worst possible plans the Ganados have ever come about with. And that would be ambushing Leon while on the lift. See that guy over there way down the back? Bye. See this guy trying to come up next to me? Bye. If I can actually shoot him correctly. So, they're going to come up, and I'm just going to shoot them. I don't know exactly what their plan was. Possibly jump up on here with me. But every time I shoot one of them, Ashley gets excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, yeah. She just cheers me on. I love watching that. I mean, you can do this with the rifle as well. Of course, it'd be much easier to do it with the rifle because, you know, you get a little bit more accurate shooting. But, you know what? I have plenty of handgun ammo at... Seriously, it takes one hit, no matter where they are! And, uh, they go down. Bye-bye, Ganados. That was, um... That was a well-thought-out strategy. You guys put a lot of work into that plan. And I have to tell you, you're all freaking idiots. Every single one of you. Anywho, we've made it down safe and sound. There, um... I don't think there's anything around here, but I can go into this room. I'm gonna be the cool, awesome man and jump through the window with broken glass. Ashley is gonna be the girl and run around and have to take the door. 
That would hurt you, by the way, if you were standing by the door, because she does throw that open with a lot of force. Flash grenade, in case for something later, handgun bullets to replace the ones I use going down the lift. How am I doing with my crap? I actually have a, still have a lot of handgun bullets. Still got a whole bunch. Everything seems to be doing very well. I'm collecting my uh, TMP ammo, which is great. That's absolutely needed for me. Uh, as I said in the last episode, and I will reiterate it right here, right now, this is the area in which I normally buy the TMP, so it would be in my inventory at this point, mainly because of the boss battle that's coming up. You normally want to go down in order to get to where you gotta get to, but we're gonna go this way. We have some fun things that we need to uh, collect and grab. Oh crap, no! Where is it, where is it, where is it? There we go. Oh boy, those freaking dynamite guys. You gotta hit it when you uh, have the chance or else bluey. And at this point, if Asher took a direct hit with the dynamite stick, oh, she's gone. Now you can use our yellow herbs in order to raise her health as well, but I would advise doing that on your second playthrough because on your first playthrough, they should all go to Leon. Every single one of those yellow herbs should go to Leon. This is a weird looking place. This blood's still fresh. Was there some kind of ritual here? Uh, actually, yes, there was. There was an attempted ritual here. But, guess what you won't find out until uh, you beat the game. <laughs> what exactly was going on here? Which is, uh, I'll bring that up a little bit later. But we have a chest. Opening up the chest, suspended in midair, is a magical yellow cat's eye. And that, my friends, is our final, final piece to the beer stein. Let us combine and attach. Awesome. So now the beer sign itself has its green, red, and yellow uh, gems in it. Kind of like a stoplight, only sideways, which they do make stoplight sideways, but whatever, and not in that order. But it doesn't matter. So there they are. The beer stein is now perfectly complete, and we can sell that to the merchant for maximum profit. Very nice. Very happy with that. Let us go down over this way and hop down. And now we can make our way... Oh, that's right. Damn it, Ash. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Can't take you anywhere now, can I? Like, seriously. I figured that your father would have taught you some manners. Walk down steps by yourself, dear. You're not going to always have someone to catch you. Or someone strong enough to catch you as well. Because, I mean, if... <laughs> If it was anybody else other than Leon and his inhuman strength, I'm pretty sure that they would drop her, especially from a height that much. Welcome. That was a large ladder. Do you have anything now? No? What are you selling? Um, do I want to sell these things now? No. No, I don't want to sell these things now. Come back. Because you have nothing time. for me, and I don't have any means of uh, using your, you know, store for anything. I will sell them later. They will get me quite a bit of money, absolutely. And then my Peseta cap will jump up significantly. So that will be what I need then. But for now, I'm going to put that on. Actually, hold on a second. I'm going to just double check this really quickly. Do I have enough to go around? I have lots of TMP ammo, plus I'll be able to get some during the fight. Bunch of healing things, plus stuff I can get during the fight. Um, This is actually technically useless for the fight, but whatever. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use... Well, yeah, I am going to use that. I may use my handgun, not sure. Yeah! Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. I hope. I pray. My health is alright. Pretty good right there. Okay, so here is that little building that uh, the note talked to you about. This is where the ambush is and where they bring people that need to be enlightened. Good thing about this fight is that Ashley doesn't come with you. Leon makes the sensible choice to leave her outside. Right about here. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. I don't care where you hide, I don't care where you go, just don't come in here with me because it would really be not in your best interest for this to happen. Okay, so now Leon knows that this is a trap. He absolutely knows this is a trap. I mean, he's being cautious, which is understandable, but... Whoa! What was that? Oh, no! How did he get the drop on us? This big guy moves really fast. And why didn't he kill Leon? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, this guy's like super Hulk strong. Look at that. This is freaking awesome. Like, that's so cool. But why would you throw Leon to do that awesome, like, bit there and then cause a quick time event in order for Leon to dodge you? Like this. Of course, if you miss, he would punch Leon's head into the ground. But he rolled and happened to find a very convenient barrel off the side. Oh no. What is this? 
And then Leon says, see you later, which I'm pretty sure a single gunshot like that does not cause these types of explosions, but, you know, reasons, video game. Oh, crap. Oh, man, look at this guy. Ew. He's like some weirdo centipede thing. Ew. Human centipede. Okay, we're going to run over this way. We're going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. Most items are not going to really be worried about picked up for right now, but I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit closer. I'm going to run this way. Get that spinel before it goes away. And the only other item I really want is this TMP ammo because the TMP is used at this point in order to hit his weak spot, which is like right at the base of his uh, ah, little uh, segmentation right there. Whoa, dodge! Whoa, and he didn't hit me! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Get the hell off me! Ugh. Uh, Leon, reload. Leon, reload. I want to fold the uh, 100 TMP before I go ahead and finish this off. Uh, let us use that. And start firing! Shoot, 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 Just keep up the spray, Leon! Keep up the spray, Leon! Crap! Whoa! Holy <laughs> shit! I'm still alive! How am I still alive? I don't know. But we're definitely going to be using a first aid spray. Please die! Please die! Ow! Oh my god, this guy is really messing me up. He's gotta be close to the second phase. He's gotta be close to the second phase. Oh, he's gonna wind up for a swing. I would rather heal myself before anything else happens. Something! There we go! We gonna try again? Sometimes he does a, a follow up attack. Come on, 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 Ow! Uh, there we are! Okay. Phase one done. That usually goes much smoother, but hey, what can you do? Spin around, we're gonna take this to the high ground. While up here, I can go ahead and collect some things. I'm gonna collect that, I'm gonna collect that, I'm gonna collect my red herb, and I'm gonna swing back around to the other way. I used the green herb that I happened to collect from the room already. Wish I still had it, so it'd give me a little bit of a quick heal. But for right now, I am going to combine, combine, and there goes my health stuff. Put that on, and he should be swinging up at us. As you know what, I'm gonna jump down. Because ideally, if you can get him to get to the ground, whoa, none for you. There we are. Get him on the ground. You can hit him before he goes back up. gonna swing down back at me, isn't he? Run this way! Run, 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 run! Turn! There he is. Can I reload before he gets to me? Oh, there he is. Come on, come on, come on. Eat this! Cheesy! Ow! Get down! Alright, he's a little bit further away. Can I hit him with this as he runs? Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah much damage as I possibly can while he's at that distance away from me. Where is he? Yeah! He fell! Um, ah, oh, screw it. Just keep shooting him. Come on. I know I'm hitting him. Crap! Leon, run! Whoa! I'm pretty sure if he hits me right now, I may die. I'm not sure. I don't really want to test that theory. Oh, don't die! Don't die! Get up! Get up! I died. Well, there you go, everybody. There's my first death of the game to Mendez. All right, hold on. Let me get back to him and uh, try to take him down with what I got. Continue. Okay, this is going slightly better. I have way more ammunition on me and way more healing items than I did uh, when I, uh, well, last time I tried. Go, 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 knock him down, knock him down, knock him down, knock him down. Awesome, he went down. I am going to try something. I am going to try to throw a grenade as fast as I can. Hup. Yeah, that's right, it hit him. Awesome. Anything and everything. Die. Die. Die! Keep crawling! Yes! Sweet! Did it! Huh. I don't know what the hell happened to me the last episode, or not the last episode, the last uh, life, but hey, that was that. Damn, I think that grenade really helped out, that's for sure. Now, Leon just 
fine damage, but hmm, he dropped an eye. I think I'm going to take this. This could be useful. Ew, and it's all drippy and whatnot. Oh, it has Mendez juice on it. That's disgusting. But he does give me 30,000 pesetas, which is awesome. Um, is there anything else I want to reload? Let's just reload. Let's go mass reload. I don't think there's really... Oh, yeah, no, there are a few things now that I have to fight. Because even though I did finish... Oh, I forgot you. Oh, can't forget the spinials. Those sell for, you know, 2,000 piece, but every little bit counts. Pretty sure I've made that clear. I also still have a lot of ammunition left. So back to the Red Nine. And we're going to go over here and we're going to jump out of this. No, there was no window there. He did the window jumping. Are you okay, Leon? Aw, oh, she asks me if I'm okay. And what do I do? I ignore her. Shut up, you. You're the reason I'm here. But yes, Leon did his uh, jump through a window animation right there. So, and there was no window. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. He probably could have just climbed out no problem. But he decided to do the dramatic dive and roll. Back up we go, because now that we have the magical eye, because that's how this works apparently, we are able to open a door that has a retinum scanner scanner in it, which is pretty much uh, run by farmers and villagers and everything like that. Uh, before I move along, there is something really cool though that I want to point out. Number one, check that out. You have yourself uh, the castle. That is so awesome that you can actually see the castle from here and uh, get an idea of where it is you're going next. I also think that, uh, no, you can do it from, is it from here? No, it's from here. You can kind of maybe make it out. Let me actually see this. This really has nothing to do with anything, but if you zoom in, there you go. You can actually lock, I briefly did it. That's the merchant. You can lock on to the merchant from here. If I had the longer zoom, I could probably actually show you, show you. But there you go. The merchant's there. And ta-da! The merchant's there. He is really just a man of many talents. Him and that teleportation skills. That is just great. This is probably what makes him better than the other uh, Gandandos. So it's like, you know. His plagas doesn't matter, because he can do whatever the hell he wants, he can teleport around. Hell, he's probably the strongest guy in this entire game. Except if you swing at him with a knife, then he dies in one shot. Alright, let's move on back up. We don't have to worry about the great Gandando plan in order to take us down from the lift. This time around, because they're all just like, well, that didn't work the first time, so I guess we shouldn't do it again. Which is quite intelligent of them, to say the least. And we're going to go down to the door and use the drippy eye to open it. Where is he holding that? Isn't it in his pocket? Do you think he puts it up against his eye and be like, ooh, look, I'm Mendez. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <sighs> Using the eye, the false eye. I just want to look at it again. Oh, it's so disgusting. There's a code-like pattern etched inside the iris. So this isn't even Mendez's real eye. He ripped out his real eye in order to store this in the socket. How crazy do you have to be and then all you got to do is do that this is a really weird scan and uh that it there you go okay put put the eye down leon you don't need the eye anymore it's not worth it don't take it with you it's not worth anything it's quite disgusting actually there we are pathway to the castle uh there's some guys up there but on the good point about it, it's like you don't have to worry too much about them. Let me just kind of look around this really quickly. Sometimes there's things hidden, you never can tell. We're going to slowly make our way up there. Because when we get closer, they're going to hear us. And then this thing's going to start. We have a truck coming at us. Back up, Ashley. Back up. You need to shoot inside the truck. Please hope I uh, hit him. There we go. <laughs> Hoping that I hit it. Because if you did not actually uh, hit the inside of that truck, it would have continued to come down and smash you. The other thing you want to do is you want to grab this and run like hell. Run, 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 run. Because everybody has spawned. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Back up, back up, back up, back up. What do I got? What do I got? I have no actual grenade grenades. That sucks. Oh, well. Everyone dies. Mow you down with my TMP. <laughs> nice uh, 
way to be out of ammo right there. Who's left? One, two... No throwing shit at me. Oh man, there's more guys left than the thought. Whoa. Where the hell is Ashley? Oh, she's ducking. Good girl, stay down. That's right, you stay down there, you. Alright, good. Good. Um, what the... Oh, here we go. Good. <laughs> uh, these are from the guys that died before. So that's excellent. And I think I just got my full round of TMP ammo back. Oh, wait a minute. I saw something shiny. Oh, I see something shiny. I missed something shiny. See? I knew it. I knew there was something here. Uh, TMP on. Shake. Rattle and reload. Good. And what is this that I passed up? Hang on ammo! You never leave it behind. I try not to leave it behind. I left a red herb behind. I left another thing of hang on ammo behind. It kills me to this day to know that I did that. But can't look back. Can't look back. Just gotta move forward. Okay. In one of these, not that one, then it should be this one, we get a Velvet Blue. Uh, like the Spinules, the Velvet Blues are going to be becoming a common item for us to find. Uh, they're just going to pretty much appear in random places. Why am I trying to combine it? I just want to look at it. Small and size appears to have some value, so you'll be finding these alongside. Spinules are going to slowly but surely get faded out from the game, and the Velvet Blues are going to take over. You're still going to find things here and there like that, but it's all sellable items. We're right along, and let's uh, get the hell out of here. This seems to be our best uh, path. There's more coming. Oh, crap! Oh, man. There's a lot of guys. Woo! Yes, we are a scape. On the other side of the bridge. Scape! Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run! Um, okay. Do you not forget that they can cross bridges? You take that one. Okay. Do it! Grab it! Ready? Hurry and spin, because they're already at the bridge. Or they just decided to be like, wait a minute, they may raise the bridge. We should just stop right here before anything like that happens. Ah, damn, we were right. They did raise the bridge. Crap. Oh, we're going to do this now. Yeah, it's pretty much him just cursing us out, I guess. Come on. Yeah. And that, as they say, is that we have reached the end of Chapter 2-3, and we will be starting 3-1 in the next episode. Number of killed, one! Oh man, I died once, but that's okay, stupid Mendez, he is what he is. Um, we'll be moving away from the village and into the castle now. Castle is going to introduce to us a whole new set of enemies, uh, both the standard grunt-style enemies and a bunch of new strong, strong enemies, and it's just going to be very, very crazy. The merchant has some great stuff for us right in the beginning as well, which is awesome, and yeah, so... Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, MetalBlade427. As I said, in the next episode, we will be starting the castle. And you can see that in the upper right corner with the next chapter preview screen, which is something I really like that they do. It kind of is like, huh, what's coming up next? And if you've played the game, you can be like, oh, that's coming up next. Well, crap. You guys have a good one. And I will catch you all later.